Welshman Cube comes out to state the correct position on CCC turmoil. Miffed by viral attacks on his person and political standing over the goings on in the Citizens Coalition for Change party. Veteran politician and top official of the party Welshman Cube has come out to state the correct position and blasted charlatans who think truth does not matter. Last week, social media trolls were on Cube seeking to link him to self-imposed Secretary General Senjizo Chibangu even without basis or proof. He was subjected to attacks over his failure to publicly condemn Chibangu for recalling CCC legislators and councillors. Nkube said in an interview with Standard Southern Eye that there was a deliberate plot to twist the truth on goings on in the party for political expediency. I don't really mind the abuse and insults. He said. I seek no accolades from charlatans who think truth does not matter. We can never build an enduring democratic alternative based on deceit, incessant lies, autocracy and deception. Also last week, Cube was accused of funding a plot to have a snap CCC elective Congress to oust party leader Nelson Chimisa. According to the reports, a meeting was held in Bulawayo and was attended by suspected Cube allies to plot the Congress. The faceless social media commentator said in one of their numerous unsubstantiated claims, the meeting started with court updates where it was agreed that Nomvulam Guni takes over on interim basis as acting secretary general to do further recalls. Congress was also discussed and Professor Cube volunteered to finance the Congress. Contacted for comment, Cube said the reports were nonsensical. It is totally false and nonsensical, he said. United States-based Zimbabwean political activist and technology entrepreneur. Freeman Shari stepped in to defend Cube and how he played a major role ahead of the disputed August elections to ensure the party deployed polling agents across Matabili land. I am really not happy with the way you guys are treating Professor Cube, Shari responded on X for what it's worth when we were stuck distributing adopt polling station money with only 48 hours before election. He stepped up and in 24 hours, all Matabili land north, south and Bulawayo were done, something national land failed. The CCC appears threatened by internal fissures following the recall of its legislators and councillors by Chibangu. On Thursday, CCC youths said the recalls were no different to Kukurahabdi. Addressing journalists in Bulawayo last week, CCC Bulawayo Youth Task Force spokesperson Pasha Raffle Sabanda said they would not allow the Chibangu recalls to go unchallenged. Indeed, we are aware of Kukurahandi but we will not allow the second Kukurahandi in our province, Sibanda said. As young people, we are ready to defend, advance and secure the future of generations to come. By-elections were held last week following the recalls. A second round of by-elections will be held on February 3rd. Cube and other senior party leaders in Harare and Bulawayo have been accused of being the brains behind Shibangu. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.